What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Red Earth Aviation. Hope you guys have a fantastic day today and today we have another fan mail episode for you guys. I really hope you guys are excited for today's video. Very excited to get into this fan mail today and we have a lot of awesome fan mail to dive into. We have quite a bit and I'm on a little bit of a time constraint so I'll try not to expedite too much but we have a lot of awesome items so without any further delay, let's get started and sorry that I'm just now getting woke up so I apologize. This is typically how it goes while I record later in the day but we're making it work today, so let's get started. We're getting over here with Jairus Aviation's um, iAero Airways 767. These are really cool planes. Of course, you'll see them mainly with the 737, but the 767 is a very unique variant, to say the least. I'm glad you're with Kelcha at Minneapolis, St. Paul. It's very nice. So we have like 140 items to get through today, so we'll have to definitely expedite it a touch. Okay, right here is a really cool uh, picture right here. This is a picture of a cockpit of decommissioned Qantas Boeing 747-400 Victor Hotel Oscar Juliet Alpha. This aircraft once held the record for the longest commercial flight after it flew nonstop from London to Sydney, which is a 20-hour flight. The aircraft also holds the record for the shortest 747 flight, 12 minutes from Sydney to Avenue Park, where is displayed today. That is so cool. Definitely probably now my new favorite uh, Qantas 747 Oscar Juliet Alpha. So if I ever try to get one, that is telling them where I'll look for. But that was a crazy sequence of events with the pandemic and everything. So pretty crazy to say the least. United 737 over here from O'Hare to SBA. Really cool to see that route. It's very nice. And over here on the left, we have a private jet landing here at South Lake Tahoe for the golf tournament. Very nice. So here is an expanded look at what that looks like. Very nice. Proceeding through here, we have uh, my next trip port, <laughs> American to Santa Barbara. I would really like to come to Santa Barbara. I will probably fly into Los Angeles and maybe travel up possibly, or I think United does have a CRJ flight that maybe I can do or something, but I'd love to visit the area. Los Angeles is awesome. It's been way too long since I've been out there, so hopefully I'll be out there very soon. Here's the American 777 over the skyline at O'Hare, or I'm sorry, uh, Charlotte Douglas, excuse me, wrong code. Really, really cool to see that. I know CLT would love that, so that is an awesome view. I love their observation area at Charlotte. That's really nice. Every year in July, there's a big golf tournament at South Lake Tahoe. My local airport, South Lake Tahoe, gets a private jet convention for the famous celebrities at Look at Flight Aware Day 1 for the golf tournament. So, yeah, we got all kinds of stuff. Multiple citations. We got some Falcons here. So a lot of citations. Falcon 50, uh, Cessna Citation X, 680 Latitude, uh, 750. That would be another uh, Citation X. 680, uh, maybe an ATR even right here. That's pretty impressive. Or I'm not exactly sure what it is. Thenom. So, really nice assortment. You can see the normal lineups all props so really cool to see that that's awesome thanks for sharing here's day two it looks like we got another nice lineup some pc12s a couple gold streams here here's a g4 uh, it's a citation 550 some 60s here uh, uh baron it looks like pc12 a galaxy even very impressive that's awesome and here is another arrival here from kansas city very very nice to see that right there that is absolutely awesome it Sorry guys, uh, right here we have a citation on South Lake Tahoe for the golf tournament, very nice. Yeah, that's impressive cruising altitude. I love Denver Centennial, Centennial Airport, I'd like to visit there too, so that's really nice. Picture of the aircraft that recycled registration on the Bombardier Global Express heading to the golf tournament, so quite a loaded lineup for such a small airport to say the least. And here is a really nice Hawker, I think is what that looks like. Yeah, Hawker 850, very nice. Here's day two once again, and another great lineup of aircraft, as you guys can see. You're welcome to read them off. They are really, really nice. Uh, Goldstream 4, Galaxy, Hawker, Venom, PC-12. Very nice. Over here, looking good from my friend Alonzo in North Texas. Spotter, we have a Southwest 737-700 in Louisiana, one livery living uh, in at to Reno at Las Vegas, so really cool. Feel free to submit this as a local fan picture if you'd like to. This is a perfect opportunity. I'd love to feature that in a upcoming Reno update. Um, I will be sure to mention that you flew in the Reno if I remember, which I hope I do. So I'll try to make a note of that right now. It's the only way to remember things, guys, is you got to make notes when you can. So let me do this for him real quick because he's commented three or four times. I know he's watching this. So, of course, Alonzo, I am more than happy to do that because I'd love to mention that. And you were there for quite a while, too. So let me uh, make sure that that gets done. Uh, all right. Sweet. Back up to the top, we have another Ember Legacy. That's really nice right there. No picture, interestingly enough, but looks good. And let's see. This picture over here has NetJets heading in for the golf tournament. That's really nice. And that's a, a, a global, too. That's very impressive. Very cool. Looks like maybe a 7500. Could be wrong. Left to right now. Let's go this time. Uh, here's a G280. I love these. This one's coming in once again. Very nice. I wish we had a picture, but all good. 
And then for my next Tulsa Airport update, can you send Athena? I'm sure I would love to. So South Lake Tahoe. So I'm also writing that one down so I don't forget. So now when I do fan mail, I probably need to start writing stuff down or I'm going to start forgetting. So TUL to South Lake Tahoe. Very nice. Um, and what aircraft was it? It was Athena. Yes, I have Athena. I'd be happy to do that. No problem. Cool. And here's day three for South Lake Tahoe for the golf tournament. Yeah, lots of good stuff on this day. Assess citation, uh, some Barons, Denoms, Challengers, a couple. Here's a citation from John Wynn. I'll try to feature that if I can as well. Um, Willard or Down Airport, that's quite a cool one in Kansas City, I believe. Um, yeah, lots of good stuff. Even a Falcon 2000, I've seen a lot of those, so quite a bit. Uh, very, very nice. And over here we have a Cessna 525 taking it in for the golf tournament. This is a really cool, stunning livery. That, ooh, that is nice. That is really, really cool. Definitely try to find that aircraft if you can. That's one of the coolest biz jets I've ever seen for Thrive. That is really nice. And then over here we have uh, net jets coming in from Vans 9, so they were sure lighting them up to say the least. Korean Air makes it back to Las Vegas. Very cool in their Airbus E330 200s. That's a very nice flight for that. That's a, probably a very long one. How long is that? Uh, 6,000 miles, so, oh shoot, I don't know, probably 12 hours or so, that's impressive. Thank you for sharing, that's really cool. Finally, glad that they made it back. Over here, we have an Eclipse making it out as well. I love Eclipse, very glad that you were able to see one, that's really, really nice. American Retro returns into Las Vegas, heading out to Chicago, thank you for sharing. Uh, one of my favorite liveries, I've been very fortunate to get to see it multiple times. And then over right here, we have an Eco Skies making it here. I just got the new engine models, it's a really nice aircraft, and your illustration was very, very nice. Good job on that, that looks really good. I like your terminal too, that's really nice. Uh, and this is a typical Las Vegas for you right here. All the aircraft lined up, probably some Southwest Allegiant, Frontier maybe, so that's an impressive lineup. Spirit's also got a pretty big establishment. As today, they are starting service to um, Albuquerque, which I'm very, very excited about. Uh, I don't know if my airport update will be accurate since I already filmed it, but hey, we'll fix it if not. And then, yeah, National 757. These are really cool to get to see around the United States in this prime example. I'm not sure where it was coming in from, but that sure looks nice. Yeah, the Linglet logo has really grown on me. 943 now sees it, which is really nice. Um, they're really good. I wish they would have centered it, but man, it's grown on me a lot. So American, I'll give you a little bit of credit. And Eastern making it into Las Vegas from Mont. That's very cool. And yes, uh, especially at LSV Airport, which is quite unique. So very cool to get to see that. And here's a BBJ looks like right here. Or is that a, I'm sorry, I can't see the subtitle. What? Which one is this? This is a Marshall Service aircraft, okay. Uh, some sort of BBJ probably, but really cool to get to see that right there. I wanna come back to Las Vegas so bad. It's so much fun. I like Las Vegas a lot. And then we have a Qantas A330 making it into Las Vegas for whatever reason, quite unique, really, really cool. That is awesome, especially with the old titles and everything, really cool. And here is another airport update right here uh, for Aviation LAS, this is really cool. Um, I'll definitely be checking this out. Very nice. But as you can see, multiple aircraft lined up. That's very nice. And here's a very nice LL 777. I love that livery. Or 77, excuse me. I like that livery too. I like their old one too. That one's good too. Uh, Luton's are making it off for only 25 right. Um, this is why I want to come to LA. Just take a look at this lighting, man. That's awesome. 343. Got that model. That is an awesome one. And Ita makes it over to LAX with this really cool aircraft on their, like, I don't know if you want to call this hybrid or CO2 efficient livery, but that is really cool. That's awesome. And here is an Alaska aircraft making it over to SNA uh, for SkyWest out of San Francisco. That's interesting. Thank you for noting that. That update was already filmed and I didn't, Pass Rider doesn't distinct, well, they do technically with the flight numbers, but it's not something that I'm just, uh, I, I'm fixated on when I'm doing that. So I almost certainly will be checking that out when I get a chance. Thank you for that. I really appreciate it. Uh, American A321 making it in here. Um, and yeah, I'll put this in the September update. And now they're doing Sharklets to Phoenix. Thank you for sharing. Again, I'll be sure to do that. But unfortunately, all these updates were, some of these updates were filmed in advance. So sorry. It's just something I got to do to keep on schedule. But I'll definitely mention that in the upcoming updates, along with the uh, route for the golf tournament, even though I'm going to be a couple months late. Um, this quiz, yeah, I can probably play it here real quick. Um, yeah. Oh, okay, sure. I wanted to do one of these anyways, so all the routes out of uh, Sacramento. This will be a fun little intermission, um, so I guess now we're doing a quiz here. I probably could make a whole video here, but this is 25 with 10 minutes. I think this is very doable, so why don't we do this, see what happens. Intermission, just getting started for today, so if I'm a little lackluster, I apologize, but I want to give this a try. I think I got a good chance here, and I think I can get all these, so let's see if we can put my Sacramento knowledge to the test. Whew, I didn't think you guys were going to be testing me like this, but here we go. All right, play a quiz now. 
All right, SJ, or I, I, is it like this? Or I, okay, they may not have that route. How about San Diego? I can't spell, guys, so. Is it just S-A-N? This is gonna be a problem. Los An See, my biggest problem is I can't spell. I know the routes, I just can't spell. So this is why it's gonna take so long. Okay, let's see if I can start with something different. Uh, Dallas, Love Field. I mean, I don't, I don't know how this counts. Yeah, okay, that's how it does it, okay. Houston Hobby. Sorry, guys. I I was never taught properly how to spell. It's been a big lack of mine. Austin. Uh, they have Albuquerque, right? I believe. Um, I'm going to use Siri just to spell some of these. San Francisco. Sorry, guys. I can't spell to save my life. I would get this done much faster if I knew how to spell. San Francisco. Okay, never mind. But San Jose wasn't one. Unless they do that, yeah. Um, what a uh, Honolulu. Sorry, guys. I'm I'm really not proficient when it comes to spelling. Um, it's that bad. Sorry, guys. They they're not helping me out. Honolulu. Come on. No. Let me try something else. I'm sorry, guys. Salt Lake City. Uh, Phoenix. There we go. Mexico. Can is it Cancun? Uh, prob no, it's probably Sandel Cabo. Uh, I'm gonna have to think about that, how they want, they, it's gonna be titled weird. Um, let's see here. Uh, thinking maybe, uh, maybe Palm Springs. I doubt it, they might have that though. Yeah, they do, cool. Um, they have to have San Diego. I just don't know why I cannot spell it this morning. There we go. Um, Los Angeles, Los Angeles, there we go, G, E, there we go, um, they pr probably have Burbank, yep, um, Ontario probably, I just can't spell, ah, Ontario, There we go. We're doing pretty good, I just can't spell. Um, I'm gonna have to look up San Del Cabo at the end to see how they want that formatted. It's probably what it is on Flight Raider 24. They probably have Seattle, yep. Denver, Midway? I'm thinking that's what it's gonna be. I'm trying to think of how to spell Chicago, even though I was just there and I can't spell. There we go, Chicago, Midway. There we go. Um, Las Vegas. Uh, Washington again. Oh, uh, Spokane maybe. I cannot spell. I just suck at spelling. Spokane. Spokane. There we go. Spokane. Or, oh, so I'm sorry, guys. Spokane, Washington. There we go. Yeah, it was Spokane, cool. Uh, Portland, which is a cool route. Missouri, St. Louis, or is it, it may be Kansas City. Let's see which one. Yeah, it was St. Louis. Let's try Kansas City. Do they have Kansas City? No? Okay, interesting. We'll make a good lead way on this. I just can't spell. Idaho is probably uh, Boise, isn't it? Yep. Oh, uh, let's see. Kona may come up. No, I'm gonna have to get the full. Let me try these again. Honolulu, Hawaii. And please don't make fun of me, guys. I just, nobody ever taught me how to spell some of these cities. I just look and never learned. Kahului. I can barely say him. Cool. Um, uh, let's see here. What else do we have? Uh, California, um, I thought San Francisco would for sure be on there. Oakland, yep, yep, yep. No? Really? I thought they would have had that. Uh, they didn't have Ontario. Orange County, yeah. Er, yeah, okay, I forgot they had that. Um, they have Reno, don't they? 
No, they don't. No, it's not at Sacramento. I'll look up the air in a few seconds. I'll look. Mexico is going to be Cabo. California, I'm trying to think of the other two. And then I have the Hawaii. So I'm just trying to think of these last two California cities. Oh, Long Beach probably. Yep. Um, uh, what else do we have? Probably in the... In, it's going to be a like between B and O. So it's going to be on the top of the alphabet. Not Ontario. It's probably in the Los Angeles area. I'm just trying to think of what it would be. It's not Ontario, not Burbank. We already got Orange County and Long Beach. It'll really bug me if this is the only one that I don't get because it's gonna be Kona and Cabo. It's not Mexico City. I'll just try it for the hell of it, but it's not Mexico City. If I would have been able to spell it, what do you guys done in five minutes? Trying to think of what the other one would be. Um, I already tried Oakland. Already tried San uh, Jose. I may not know it. I may not know which the, the last one. I'm trying to think. It's definitely, it's probably in the Los Angeles area. I want to try Ontario again. Ontario. No, it's not Ontario. I got three minutes to think about it at least. <laughs> the only problem is I'm not coming up with many answers right now but I don't know what it would be. It's really gonna tick me off when I don't get it. It's really gonna make me upset because they would have nothing else down the whole state. You know, you got Palm Springs, but we already got that. San Diego, you got Los Angeles, Ontario, Burbank, Orange County, Long Beach. Got it. I think I know what it is. Santa Barbara. I think that's what it is. It's not Santa Barbara. I did, oh, I think I spelled, did I spell it wrong? Yeah, I did. That's what it was. I, I that You guys would have been very upset if I would have missed that. I'm glad I got to that. Okay. And the last two, I just don't know how this, uh, what they are gonna, the airport's listed at, so let me make sure I can do that. So Fly Raider 24 coming in clutch here. But Siri did the majority of that work for me, so thank you, Siri. Can't believe I about forgot that, I'm sorry. It's a new route, guys, come on now. Okay, so we need uh, San Del Cabo's proper, Cabo St. Lucas, that's what I was looking for. San Del, San Jose Del Cabo, that's the way I wanted to, now, it may not count as the key, but I'm just going to try it a couple different ways. Sorry about that, everybody. Um, so now, where you're going to, um, I'm going to try to use, try this again. I'm going to do Kona first since I only have a minute, and then I'll come back to Mexico. I'm not, I'm just trying to figure out how to spell it. That's the reason. So it may be Mali on this. It's one or the other, but I thought it was Kona. So if I miss it, I miss it. But how it's properly spelled on here is Kona. Kona. Yep, okay. And then Mexico, um, I tried different forms of Cabo. Sandel Cabo, I mean, I don't know what it would be listed as on here. Um, and I already tried Mexico City. Unless if I spelt it wrong, which that's a, pro that's a possibility. Oh, I just wanted capital. And I tried Cancun. Oh, Porto, it might be Puerto Vallarta. Puerto Vallarta, I don't know. But it might be Puerto Vallarta. But I thought it would be Cabo out of. Uh, I think I spelled that wrong. Okay, no. Um, yeah, I guess I'm gonna mix Mexico. So my spelling lost that one, but. See, okay, so it wanted the E. So technically I would say I got that right. 
So I would give it 100%. Now, if you guys, I, without spelling, I would have failed this, but in terms of the knowledge, I knew which city and everything. So yes, yeah, sorry about Santa Barbara. That one was the biggest dumper. And I, I had Cabo from the beginning. It just wanted that like E for whatever reason. So, but really good. I would call it a 25. I mean, you know, you can, you're welcome to go whichever direction you want with that. But I think it turned out pretty well considering that um, I didn't know how to spell any of that. So Siri came in clutch, but yeah. Um, very pleased with that effort and uh, yeah, so that's all the routes there out of Sacramento It's a really nice facility to say the least so very cool to get to see that Okay, uh, here we have KLM a hundred years livery coming in very nice glad to see that over here We have the uh, Reno 737. So let's read this uh, Besides Chicago to Reno being a 737 700, We also have another 737 700, which is IAH. That's really nice So for the next Reno update, of course, I can put it on 737 700. So expect that to come Here's the KLM, looking very good right there. And over here, we have a private 777-200LR. Very cool aircraft. And here is the KLM 777. Uh, very nice, beautiful airplane to say the least. And then the Nevada One makes it back in from Burbank. I wonder when they're gonna paint the tell, it'll be interesting. Her art here making it at gate four, looking really good. And here is a Finnair special delivery taking off a runway 25 right. Very nice, say the least, very cool. Uh, here is an Alaska special livery. This aircraft is also looking very good. 100 years strong livery. Have the model. Really, really nice. And Panda, or somebody please make this the New Mexico 1 special livery South plus 737. That aircraft also looks really good. Yeah, Korean Air's back with the A380 JFK. It's super cool. Really glad to see that. That's an awesome piece of news. And I love to see that. It's awesome. Delta A330 Neo is making it in there too, which is looking also very good. You have a Lutonza A34600 looking sharp, man. Really glad to see these back. I didn't know if these were coming back, so I'm really, really glad to see this. So very, very cool. I'm very glad to see that. Here's MCI Aviation's full one to 400 uh, scale collection and growing. In my opinion on your collection, let's take a look. A really nice diverse fleet. I really like your um, Challenger right there to start the fleet right there, or Thenom. It's one of those two. I'm sorry. I'm just, I can't. Can't tell for sure. I'm trying to get better with smaller craft like that, but I believe it's one of those two. So really cool. And then a uh, really nice fleet of mainline planes, really solid fleet of Southwest aircraft, um, solid fleet of American, nice variety of special liveries too. I love your United Star, Star, uh, Star Wars livery aircraft. Um, and then, yeah, you got some really cool heavies, the DA, DHL, uh, the DHL, uh, TU-204 is a really cool airplane. That Vietnam is also very cool, the A321. Um, Delta's definitely strong. Uh, you got a really nice Sky Team presence on your heavies, so really cool. And I really like your uh, Turnimal back there, your hangar. This is a really nice airport replica, so very nice to see that. And you did a really good job in your collection. Thank you for sharing, and I'm excited to see where it goes from here with your collection. American Triple Seven making its way over to Dublin uh, from Charlotte. Really nice picture. Thank you for sharing A350 Aviation. Really appreciate it. Take a look at that. That is really nice. Triple Crown 1 is still flying. I'd love to see it. Such an awesome livery for Southwest. And North Texas Spotter sending in a China Eastern 777-300ER racing down runway 24 left bound for Shanghai. Very nice. I was recently at Los Angeles connecting to Reno for Dallas Love Field. That's quite an interesting connection, but man, I would have loved that. That is awesome. Uh, LL Retro here in um, J or at Los Angeles, excuse me, lots of big airports. Um, I think Gemini made a model of that. That's a really cool plane. And then back up to this portion now, we have Alaska's More to Love, looking really nice. Along with that, we also have Lutonza 77-9. Alaska's Disneyland livery, looking really good here in Minecraft. That's a really nice representation of it. Kind of hard to get it in with how uh, big of a livery it is, but I think he did a really good job encompassing those details. And then JetBlue Fly uh, Fi livery, making its appearance here in Las Vegas. I'll see if this does a little bit of loading here for us, so we can kind of get a glimpse of what it's looking like. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about right there. Very nice. All right, now it wants to play. Very nice. That's a special delivery. And then we have the French B A350 in Minecraft looking good. I like your concourse. That's really cool. And yeah, I'll be sure to let you know if I can play with you, Gemini Jets 25. Absolutely, my friend. Uh, yeah, Victory Air has a huge presence in Las Vegas. And here's one of their Ember ERJ uh, 145s. Or excuse me, this is an Arrow actually, but Victory Air has some aircraft just like that. So very cool. I like that aircraft a lot. California One also making it in Las Vegas. Very cool. Next row, we have the Norwegian 77-9 looking good. French B starting service. I uh, really like their livery. America's Medal of Honor, you know I'm already loving that. Love the Medal of Honor livery. So excited for some models of it. Good job. Very nice. Delta A through 21 Neo making it in here. And then right here, we have a wolf at your airport, which this is an impossible. Uh, animals always get on the ramp, so. Virgin Atlantic 77-9 and Arizona 1 making it in Las Vegas. Such a pretty model. Glad that you were able to show that. JetBlue's new tail making it in. Which tail is this? Streamers, maybe? 
No, that's balloons. Very cool. Nice. And then we have the Lusian one. Trip Crown one again. Nice. Freedom one looking good here. And yes, you'd love to see it. And yeah, I can most certainly watch your airport update. Absolutely. This is looking really good. So I'll be checking that out. Fly Fly making it back to Las Vegas. And yeah, another special delivery here for Phoenix. Very cool. Love to see that. Thank you for sharing. Next line, we have the China Southern A380 looking good. Uh, very nice. And then we have a sticker delivery right here. Also looking really good. And then here we have a British Airways E350 takeoff. For time constraints, I will watch that in my spare time. But feel free to go to the link in the description to watch it if you guys would like to. And then we have this drawing right here. And this is really good. You got all kinds of liveries right here. As you can see, Americans, United, JetBlue, Spirit, um, Alaska. Really good. That's awesome. Nice job. I love to draw in my spare time. And here's Alaska's Desert Gold, uh, the former aircraft, and the Russell Wilson got repainted. That's unfortunate. Unfortunate, kind of right for me. So, Disneyland making it in there. That's really nice. And Medal of Honor now in Phoenix. Very nice. That plane travels all around. And new model right here from the shop. This is the um, Qantas 787-9. They did a good job on that aircraft, so I'm glad you're able to get it. Uh, yes, you'll definitely be able to utilize it. Yeah, so they were doing the stopover on this. I will definitely mention this in the next update because I filmed the other one before this. But yeah, it was pretty interesting to say the least. So expect that to be mentioned. And right here we have the uh, airplane shop airport, which has sure been quite interesting to see um, these two together, which is quite nice. But I think they did a good job. I just think they could line it up a little bit better. Let's go to uh, that right there with uh, the aircraft. Uh, yes, expect more applicable information to come on that uh, here in a moment. And then we have uh, this flight was Orange County to Phoenix Mesa. And let's see, new special delivery too, which is cool. This one was probably an actual flight. Um, that flight number looks like an actual flight for Allegiant. Could be completely wrong on that, but that's what it's looking like to me. And really cool to see Alaska is honoring those who serve livery. What a meaningful livery, making it into uh, Los Angeles from Seattle. And then we have the Korean Air uh, Sky Team livery coming in. Really nice. And then we have this aircraft right here. Um, not a charter here. This was just a stopover because the E-190 could not make that long of a flight. So they stopped over to get fuel in Tulsa. Very nice. Um, so here's one from M. Billy right here. Um, yes, I use Jet Tip all the time. It saved me on a G700 that I caught earlier this year and then multiple planes. So definitely expect more news to come on that. But yes, I use Jet Tip. Thank you. And I recommend it to anybody looking for it. Yes, Las Vegas. Um, new International Airport. Really? Okay. Interesting. I did not know about that. That's really interesting. I'll be excited to hear more developments on that. Very cool. Lone Star One making it back in. Service up to Columbus. Cool route. And how about Star, uh, Stars and Bars in Reno? Very nice. Okay, we got the uh, KLM 787. Really like the 787, so very cool to see that. Got to see it recently. That's very nice. And Asian is A380, also looking very good. Uh, Asian is bringing it back to LAX too. Nice. Very cool. Love the A380. So glad it's making it in. Uh, Gates. 22 A and B are also stairs. So thank you for letting me know about that. Southwest Park's next to any of them. Can you please represent in your Reno update? Okay, is this on the... I'm trying to figure out what side this would be. I have to think about this a little bit. Let me read that again so I don't miss this. Oh, okay, this is kind of where it starts. So let's start here. Did you know that gates 1A, 1B, and 1C are stair gates at SNA? Oh, this is SNA. I thought this was Orange or Reno. I'm sorry. My bad. Next SNA update. Can you please represent them with stairs? Yeah, I can. So this is where I park my United 5, 5 or CRJ 700 like this one. I only have room for one of these gates, but I may be able to squeeze in the apron a little bit more. But yes, I'd be happy to. But thank you for this picture. This is very applicable to kind of learn how this works. But yes, this I'll, I've seen some of these stairs on eBay. So I'll try to get one like this and represent that a little bit more realistically. But that's where I have my five, uh, CRJ over there. It's not the perfect replica, but it's fairly good. I may try to extend that a little bit because that's accurate. And 22A and B, I didn't, oh, this is the corner gate down here at the edge. I know which one you're talking about now. I would be happy to represent this. Uh, so thank you for that. This is where I parked um, JSX for the longest time, but I'll definitely represent that. I don't know if anybody uses that one, but I'll be sure to do that. So thank you, I appreciate that. And as her art here is still in Greensboro, how about that? That's that's crazy, two months. Mm -mm -mm. Hopefully that does not get repainted. Iceland Air Max making it in. That's looking really nice. And Pratt and Whitney at, uh, at uh, Los Angeles and quite the unique engines there too. So that's really cool. 
Clay A320, Neo looking sharp. And here's JetBlue A320 in the Bark Hotel, also in good shape. And yeah, like I said, definitely would be interested to join you on Minecraft. Very nice, very cool. Avello 737-800 looking good. And here's a Hawaiian E3-3200 looking sharp here at gate eight. Uh, Highfly E340, what a pitcher that was in the CG. I hadn't uh, come in from Dallas. That's quite unique to say the least. Uh, I got to see their A330 a while back. That was really cool. And uh, yeah, Avi Dhabi for this Qantas. That's nice, interesting, very cool to see that. Quite unique. Uh, Luton's A340 Star Alliance. It's a very special plane to me. Saw it in Denver and Chicago on my recent trip, and it is awesome. I don't know if I saw Echo or not. I probably did. I don't know if there's more than two of them, but I saw at least two of them, so there's a very good chance I saw that one. So, very special plane. Uh, YN Jets making it in there for the uh, New York Jets. It's very nice. And American Airlines Medal of Honor livery at Las Vegas. Very cool. Very nice, guys. Uh, let's go with this um, China Eastern delivery. This is looking really good. Nice job. Really appreciate that. And I'm glad that you got your Nintendo Switch. Cool to see that, my guy. Very nice. Um, Bowser versus Yoshi. Probably Bowser. Bowser's looking good. And I have not got a chance to watch it yet, but I most certainly will when I get the opportunity. Emirates making it in here to LAX on the A380. That's what I'm talking about. That's awesome. Love Emirates in their A380s. And JetBlue's Veterans Livery. Very cool plane. This guy's making it in from San Francisco to LA. Let's go back over here with the British Airways A350. This is looking very good. And we had the Warsaw flight on the 787 for a lot Polish. Looking very good. And here's Emirates' A3 or 777 making it in. Uh, I, I'm good friends with Ty. I'm glad his photos on Jet Photos. It's a really good picture from him at Boston. But making it into Los Angeles. Missouri 1 making it in there too. Looking really good. And A787. I love the new Missouri 1 model too. It's very nice. Alrighty. A few more items to assess here. We have uh, Jet Avionca A321 uh, Jet Blue livery. Quite interesting, but very nice. And then right here we have uh, Bakersfield. The CRJ is going to mainline. Really cool. That's that's very nice. Um, probably an A319 fence tip. That's the most logical choice there. I would be surprised if it's on 737. But I'm really glad to hear because that route's been going strong for a while. So I'm really glad to see that they're upgraded. That's really impressive. Uh, and Billy's wondering how Aha Airlines found my YouTube uh, and sent you that. It was either that your YouTube channel or a subscriber contacted them to send the link on that video. I noticed that none of your subscribers left a comment and I contacted Aha, so maybe the company found your YouTube channel. I also, if it worked with Aha, maybe you could, it'll work with Southwest or JSX or ExoJet. Possibly so. Um, yeah, like I said in the video, I just think that maybe they Googled it or something like that. So absolutely crazy to say the least, that's awesome. And right here we have the beautiful DFW, the BLF mainline uh, Bakersfield. It will be on an A319, so that was definitely a correct prediction. How about double daily though? That's impressive. Wow. Okay. Did not expect to see double daily, but that's that's really good for Bakersfield. We're excited to represent that. That's going to be awesome. And for the next DFW update, can you please send assess citation? I most certainly can to Lake Tahoe. Um, so it's, and I, as you can see, I'm setting it up right now, so I most certainly can do that. Citation to South Lake Tahoe. Got it. Um, from DFW2. Need to make sure I get that right. Phone calls after phone calls. Just trying to get things done before I got to leave today. Sorry, guys. Spirit uh, making their service in right here. Looking really good. Uh, yeah, the big news. Hope to talk about more in the future. And sorry, I'm really going to have to expedite now because that's call, call number two. SBA flight for Southwest looking really good. United's 777. I really like that one. I hope to see it more in the future. Uh, nice to get the track of Grandma right there. That's really, really cool. That's awesome. And thank you for the happy five-year anniversary. I really appreciate it. Uh, I think I have been featured on a couple other airport updates. Um, I think Syracuse Aviation, I think I was in one of his updates. So definitely look to do more of that in the future indeed. And um, this airport is actually a new upcoming fictional airport. This is only a portion of it. I was taking it down. But this will be a brand new fictional airport that will be debuting this month. So stay on the lookout for it. It should be coming out in a couple of weeks. So stay on the lookout for it. Good question. But that will be coming out very soon. Last Ember here, J-175 making in from San Diego to Santa Barbara, which is really nice. Most certainly can watch your spotting video. Expect that to come. And United 777 making it in here from uh, San Francisco. That's looking really good, too. That's a very unique route. How about that? Southwest having 100 people are watching this plane. That's quite awesome. I don't know exactly why. I don't know if that's squawk or something, but pretty interesting to say the least right there. Um, I don't know why. That's interesting. Very nice. Um, must have been a special flight. Maybe a retirement flight or something. 
And lastly, yes, the airplane shop in Las Vegas uh, have an open house. Very nice. Excited for that and hope to visit sometime in the future. I was there a long time ago and I would love to visit again. So yeah, that is all the items. Sorry that this uh, was a very extended video. There's just that quiz took 10 minutes and this was just, there was a lot. So you guys send as much as you want. I promise I'll do my best to get to everything. So yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, definitely expect a lot of great stuff to come. There's a lot of great news and feel free to send your content or any digital fan mail letters or anything you'd like to send. Links in the description below and feel free to do that. So with all that being said, that will do for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. My name is Red Drip Aviation. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. Take it easy, everybody. Stay safe, trust the process, do what you love and love what you do. My name is Red Drip Aviation. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon as Red Drip Aviation is signing off.